Let's go live now to my colleague, former Labor Minister, Graeme Richardson. Richo, real effort there by Barnaby Joyce to just to calm things down and, and not, in, in his words, we're here to placate, not antagonise. It was a very similar message, I think, to what we heard from Prime Minister Albanese about this bipartisan visit. Yeah, uh, I think it's the right message too. So uh, I've got no complaints with what Barnaby said. It seems to me that we, we can't afford to simply cut Taiwan off as if it doesn't exist because China doesn't like us being friendly to them. They're our eighth or ninth biggest trading partner. Um, how do you ignore that? I mean, it's very important to uh, a lot of Australians. And, uh, and so it's something, uh, a relationship that we must maintain and nourish. Indeed. And an interesting, though, timing of it all, it does come as things are getting back to a, a more even keel between Canberra and Beijing. Yeah, uh, and I think we, we've, uh, we've worked hard to get it to that point and we'll continue to do so. But we can't allow China to set our foreign policy uh, in, in, instead of ourselves. I mean, we've got to do it ourselves. And uh, if we see benefit in... Uh, in dealing with a nation with whom we've always had friendly relations and uh, do a considerable amount of trading with, then so be it. Richo, what's your read on where the energy crisis is at right now? It's a big week for the talks between the federal and state governments, a gas price cap looming federally, maybe a coal price cap with cooperation from the states, but that's a big if right now. What's your read on it? It is a big if, but uh, if the states are being sensible, uh, they'll agree, because it seems to me that um, we desperately need that cap, um, uh, especially uh, as, you, as you look, you, you know, you, you change seasons and you change from wanting your air conditioning to wanting your heating, but they both take up an awful lot of juice, and so you, you've got to have agreement. And I think the states uh, ought to be thinking seriously about that. This is not about who's Liberal or who's Labor. This is about keeping the lights on. Stephen Jones, the Assistant Treasurer, on this program a bit earlier described it as the need for a Team Australia moment, urging the states to, to get on board. It sounds like they're optimistic they can land some sort of arrangement. As you say, it, it is urgent, Richo. Well, Jones was right in saying that, um, uh, and I, I, I sense in the air, you sniff that an agreement is not far away. Yeah, yeah, I, I totally agree. And as we conclude this year, uh, not far away, I think we've got one more chat next week before Christmas, how do you look back at the year 2022 in terms of the, the political year? It's been a big one with the federal election the Victorian election a couple of weeks ago as well. How, how do you look back at it? Certainly the big winner, Anthony Albanese. Oh, there's no, no question about that. I mean, Labor's at the strongest point it's been in this country, perhaps ever. Um, and Albo's a big part of that. I think the public love him. I think he's, he's on a roll. And I think if, if he just stays doing exactly what he's doing now, he can be there for as long as he likes. Sky News colleague, former Labor Minister Graham Richardson. We will see you next week for our final chat for the year. Thanks, mate. Can't wait.